Charlie Marie Schmidt. I vow to hold you, to cherish you, to keep you, and to always strive to be better for you. Since the day you decided there was only one seat open and sat next to me, I knew it had to be you. People often talk about how when the stars align, you just know, right? You just know. Anyone who knows our story knows that on May 24th, 2018, these stars of ours aligned. I vow to be your person, to always be your best friend, your number one cheerleader, and the person you know you can always rest your head on. I remember the day Carly met Riley. Carly texted me from Katie's wedding saying, I'm worried because I'm here by myself. Courtney has Joel and I have nobody. Little did you know, Carly, but God had a plan for you that weekend. Your life changed the moment you took the chance of sitting by the tall, handsome man by the fireplace. Riley, I'm so glad that you've come into our lives. You bring out the best in her, and we're so happy that we get to stand by you both today. Just wanted to bring up a story about how Riley asked us, Sue and I, if he could have Carly's hand in marriage. So Riley ended up showing up at our house a little bit earlier than Carly. Carly was running a little bit late, but she was kind of on time and everything. So Riley goes, hey, I got to talk to you guys about something I want to tell you. And all of a sudden he started, you know, I need to ask you guys something. Right then and there, I knew. It just seems like it was yesterday that Riley and Carly met for the first time. I literally remember it exactly as if it was yesterday. But at the same time, I also feel like it was just last week then that Riley was a little chubby kid who was picking on me all the time. Just everything that they've gone through going up to the sweat, having to postpone it and everything like that. And together, throughout all of this, I really think that they've become a stronger couple. <laughs> Carly Marie Schmidt, you returned this to me the first time I lost it. I'm giving you this today to let you know that no matter what, I'll be at that altar waiting for you. Oh, hi, beautiful. Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> that little girl. Not so little anymore. <laughs> Carly, I love the little family that we have made, and I cannot wait to make it grow and prosper with you. I choose you, Carly Marie Schmidt, to be my companion through this crazy thing called life. So what do you say? Let's take this journey one step at a time and enjoy every moment of it together. Riley James, 
my best friend, my forever dance partner, my forever. The day is finally here. After all the tears and anger and definitely laughs, we finally made it. As a little girl, I dreamt of my wedding day over and over again. I hoped that one day I would find an unconditional love like my parents. I looked up to my dad to see what kind of man that I deserved. As I stand here today, I can honestly say that you are that man. I finally understand why all the heartbreaks were worth it. They led me here to you today. I will forever be grateful for our love story and what makes us, us. You have loved me through one of the hardest parts of my life that not many people know about. But you were right there by my side through it all. I promise to pour at your MLB the show of session. <laughs> <laughs> If you promise to support my golden retriever obsession, <laughs> I vow to love you faithfully for all of our days. I promise to remember that neither of us is perfect, but to strive to remind myself in all the ways that we are perfect for each other. I promise to let you be the man that God has helped you to be. You are my home, Riley. This is just the beginning. I love you. It is my privilege to introduce to you for the very first time, Mr. and Mrs. Riley and Carly Ferguson. You may kiss the bride. Take courage when the road <sighs> All right, Carly. My Carly Marie, my sister, my best friend. Where do I even begin? You have grown into a beautiful, driven in life, and warm-hearted woman. I'm so proud to call you my sister. Thank you, Riley, for being Carly's person and picking her off her feet. It warms my heart so much to see my sister be the happiest she's ever been. Oh, and don't forget about this. Now she always has someone to heat up her heating bag. I want 